Okay, hello and welcome to episode 10 of Elixir Drops. So today we're going to talk about supervisors. So I've gone ahead and made an app already, uh, but if you want to follow along, just run this command, mix new app with the sup flag, and uh, that will create your application for you. And I also added this gen server so that we could save time before we start. It really just um, runs this loop every two seconds, so it runs this process, calls run on itself, and then it'll handle that run and show us what the state is, and basically it just keeps adding these numbers to the state with uh, zero, and if it hits four, it's gonna fail. So I, uh, good old unreliable. And uh, what we're gonna do is create a supervisor for this thing right now. So uh, actually, before we do that, let's, let's, let's take a look at it. So if you had a gen server in your application such that we have, and you tried to start it up, um, actually, we can go ahead and name this guy. We'll call it unreliable. Uh, what's gonna happen is uh, it could fail, right? So if you want something, if you want reliability, there you go, it failed. Um, then you're gonna want to add a supervisor. And if we were to try to look for this process, uh, it's nowhere to be found, right? Because it died. So let's fix that with a supervisor. So we can make a file like this, and you can find this information on, uh, you know, on elixirlang.org is, is a good place to look. Uh, but I'm basically running off of that right now so it's similar to a gen server well first we got to use supervisor so let's do that and here we go similar to a supervisor where we uh, or a gen server rather where we have the, the start link command uh, we can pass in options here if you wanted to uh, but you don't need to uh, or we don't need to for this example and we're going to call supervisor start link we're going to reference the module that we're in uh, we can say okay here or whatever you like this is there's a lot of different ways to do it. Some people pass in state right there. Um, but if we pass OK tuple, then we need to match on it here. Uh, and now here's where it gets a little different. We're going to set uh, a list of children. And in our case, we have the one, good old unreliable. And uh, we can do it like this. But another, another option is to, uh, to pass in the options as well in a tuple format. So we'll just give it a name right here so that we can, uh, so I can show you a little bit in IEX shell how this is going to look. Now that we have our children list, we're going to call supervisor init, if I could spell, and we're going to pass that children in as our first option. And here's there's different strategies, like you, if you want all your children to restart if one of them fails. In our case, we only have one, so we can just do the one-for-one -one strategy. But that's it in a nutshell. This is a supervisor now. So if we go back to our IEX shell, we can, uh, we can start our supervisor which will start that gen server for us. And uh, no need to pass in options, although I did require it. So now our supervisor is running. We can say, where is unreliable? We should get a PID and uh, it should crash. Now when it does crash, it's gonna restart again and we're gonna see that a new PID was created. There we go, so there's the crash. And you'll notice too that we lost state and we got a new PID here. I'll stop everything so we can check this out. So before we were on 153, now we got a new process running 153, 156 rather, and you can see the state change. So once it died, we did lose state. So uh, if you wanted to maintain state in your app, you know that's a different story. You're going to have to do something where you are saving to the DB on an intermittent basis um, inside of your gen server. Oftentimes you'll see it sometimes loaded up in the init where it just grabs the latest stuff from your database. Uh, so that's one way to maintain state, although that can get tricky, so be careful uh, as, as you do that. So one last thing, um, normally in an application like this, what you would see is that you would start a, you have the application sort of uh, top file that would manage your other supervisor files. So since we have supervisor here, whoa, like this, there we go, I can type. Uh, we can pass it no options because we don't need that. And this is going to name it unreliable. And so now when we start our app, everything just runs off the application that gets started. So there you go. There you can see that state running. So uh, that's supervisors in a nutshell. They are just processes man uh, set up to manage other processes to start them, restart them, and terminate them if, if needed. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Uh, that is my 10th video. If you have other uh, ideas or you know, desires for what you want to see next, let me know. 
uh, there's a lot of stuff to cover and, uh, you know, I don't know where we want to go next. So anyways, thanks for watching. Bye.